Good morning and welcome to a sunny Rockingham circuit. Uh, I'm here for the British Touring Cars Support Series Test Day, the Janetta Super Cup are currently out on the circuit, so I'm just watching those guys. Um, this is the start of a pretty mammoth European trip I've got over the next 12 days, which I'm obviously going to try and document all the travel and all the cool things I'm up to as well. So today we're starting off at Rockingham just to sort of network and say hello to the Toka Paddock as this is the last opportunity I'll be having uh, for the rest of this year. Then we're off to Alton Park for the Gold Cup uh, in the Lotus in Lamb. Then I'm going straight to the Nürburgring for a two day track day there um, on the full Norse Life circuit uh, in the BMW Z4. Then I've got a day off. Uh, then I am back out to Zambort for the Masters Historic meetings and back out in the LAN and a Chevron before then coming back to Donington Park for a want to race qualifying event where I'm instructing and, and assessing uh, potential applicants for the champion for the scholarship and then we are at Silverstone in my lease for a corporate day so it's going to be a pretty epic uh, 12 days and I can't wait and yeah it's a good way to start it off so here we go float around the pack so panic and see what we can see Just finished up qualifying now and the car is being prepped by Kieran and um, went well we ended up P5 overall which was really, really good um, first the lands as well just beaten by the monstrous TBR Tuscans and an AC Cobra as well so we're in a good position for tomorrow apparently they absolutely smoke their tires off of the lights so I'm hoping for a standing start which is the first time I've done one of them in a while to uh, jump them off of the line with the lightweight and relatively low powered Elam um, so Aha. Interrupted by the boss man's phone call, had to keep him happy. Um, so yeah, Kieran's prepping the car. Fun fact, the land goes in the back of the van. Amazing. It's like going karting again. Just a van and an awning, no trailer or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to go float around the paddock, see what we can see. And starting with this mega free. Which I can't wait to start up.
I've had a run in the car already this morning and my new teammate Ollie Sterling uh, is having a run around at the moment. He makes a annual appearance in the Alam uh, at the Spa 6 Hours, which is what this event is all about. It's basically an extended test session. So, um, yeah, he's just getting his eye in, getting back into the car again, but it's mega to try this track uh, in this car. It's a proper old school car and an old school circuit, so I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, qualifying later on. Sunday of the Gold Cup at Alden Park. Um, had a good night out in Nunwich last night, just chilling, having a few beers with Kieran. And then now it is race day. Loads of crowds here, um, loads of cars coming in as well. So um, it should be a pretty busy day, I think. It's, it's obviously one of the North East's biggest classic motorsport events. So um, yeah, looking forward to seeing big crowds there. Uh, and also, um, the race later on so we've got a 40 minute race um me and Ollie are sharing so we do 20 minutes each i'm going to start the race standing start which would be uh something a bit different not done one of them for a very very long time so um hopefully i can uh, make up a place off the line where i saw the big cars spin up and then uh see where we go from there the big cars are quite a bit faster than us over the lap but see what the land can do uh, I know the TVR has certainly run out of brakes very quickly um, towards the end of the race, so we'll see if we can make an impression on them there. But yeah, here's some uh, F2 cars in the pit lane. <laughs> So we're going to put that in there. And I think it's going to be epic to watch. Well, it's all been a little bit frantic, but um, I'm now leaving the Alton Park circuit because I've got to get to Manchester to get a flight later on to go to the Nürburgring. Um, but yeah, mega race. Uh, P3 overall in the land. So managed to make two places, uh, which I was really, really pleased about. Um, got jumped off the start. Had a pretty poor start in comparison to the uh, other Elan as well. So I was a little bit disappointed about that. But managed to get him a little bit later on in the lap uh, into the shell hairpin. So uh, crowbarred my way through up the inside. And then a Cobra was holding me up. So I managed to nip past him uh, again into the first chicane. 
lap later and then just set on trying to catch the leaders there. Uh, Mike Whitaker, TBR Tuscan, uh, which has been driven really well. They had a pretty frantic battle up the front by the looks of things. And um, so yeah, Ollie handed over to Ollie. I think we were leading at the time because of, hold up, I've just got to work out which way I'm going to the airport. Um, we were leading at the time because we were the last car out on circuit uh, to pit and then we handed over to Ollie and he was just being caught by the um, Golden Bug Elan I think it is, uh, which is the HSC, HSCC champion, uh, which is also Ollie's cousin so it's family honour at stake as well as the final spot on the po overall podium as well. And um, yeah, he managed to hold on, drove really well, nice and consistent, consistently, uh, took risks when he needed to with the traffic, um, and they all paid off. So yeah, really chuffed. Mega to have been uh, at the Gold Cup, another event to tick off the list. So yeah, right, now, flat out on the road, to Manchester Airport, to the Nürburgring. Let's go, catch up in a minute, my next vlog then. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, and any comments for other stuff you'd like to see uh, in and around race meetings like this. Catch up there. Bye bye.